222 with Dogecoin and you. It's 12.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, November 14th, 2022. So we see a lot of volatility in the crypto markets. I do appreciate a few of you giving me some ideas. And I'm not going to go into the blockchain today because I want to see the reaction in the audience to see exactly who's interested in this particular um, crypto. But I had some uh, suggestions. And Sheena and you, I've been charting privately. And this is what I had come up with. And we had an uptrending support. We have this bull flag that we kind of created here that I, I put together myself. And I thought it made a lot of sense. And now we actually fell through this pattern. So now for Sheena and you, or Sheena and you, we're either going to come up to the, right about the, I mean, it's a, as many zeros as you can go, ladies and gentlemen, in three. So we'll just say 03. But we're trying to make this little support area, but it's a lot harder to read these because they're tenth of a fraction of, because you're so cheap right now. So, I mean, technically, could it play back up to, to the four level? It could. And that would be a retest, and that's you know that's going to be a good 17 to 25 percent from here if we can make that move. Like you can't even measure it on a chart for us, ladies and gentlemen, right now. It's not measurable. It's too cheap. We have to get more expensive to where we can even have some measurable you know measurements here, at least by uh, trading view. I mean, we'll know individually, but I really want to see who's interested in this coin because I've been charting it now and I've been pretty interested with the. Uh, micro movements here there's not a ton of volume here though and that's what makes me very interested um and yeah it seems like a lot when you say 442 million or one point or 27 billion but look at how cheap it is so of course there's gonna be that much you put ten dollars on it at a ton so we're gonna watch this because it's had a bullish cross here in the 30 minute time frame and if we can get supported here it's so hard to say because it's all at the three level but if we can get supported close to the 20 day um, we do have a chance to move back up into this bull flag, and that sits at about four tenths, we'll say. Just, just the zero, zero, four. A bunch of zeros and a four, but that's where this level sits at. And that starts right around the bull flag, a little bit south of it, but that's what we're looking at here with structure wise. Um, I want to know who else is interested in this, because I'm going to figure out. Um, I have some information that I would like to delve in with this uh, particular coin as well, with Gina and you. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll take a look here real quick. So just to show you a little bit of where you can actually get this, if you go to dextools.io, you can just follow this right here. But this little, uh, shows you a little uh, what's going on with the current price action. It shows you some of the token addresses. It shows you the pairs. The Dex score of 99 out of 99. It's up 13.49% in the last 24 hours, down 38.5% in the last week. The DM cap. 4.93 million the market cap is 4.91 million liquidity 719,116 and then uh here's the little chart they got going on here so i do like the micro numbers that's probably what i'm gonna have to do on mine i'll probably have to take it down and just uh go to a different style chart because it'll make it a little easier but what i'm saying is we're probably gonna come up to that we could come up and retest that four level but we have to hold the three three approximately so yeah we could talk micros so that's what we're looking at here but that's these are all in different relations obviously they have the zeros pushed out because you can't go no lower than we are so could be on a possible bull flag here we did come through a cup in hand you can see the possible w reversal here in the 15 minute so just something to watch right now this is definitely something to watch right now And then we got the buy and sell on the 14th. Getting a lot of buys at 3.6. Sells at 3.5, 3.6. So we'll see. We'll see if this can push up to the four. And that would be a pretty substantial move too. That'd be a pretty nice move. It'd be a, it'd be a nice move here. But that would mean the bull flag played out. And then we'd come up to about that. Be somewhere. First you'd have to break back in here. Because that's the bull flag right around there at the 4.015. But then you're talking about maybe coming all the way up to that four or five. If this structure can hold, then it plays out. Now, if this puts in a bearish handle, but it looks like a bullish handle is being formed here. So right now, I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to release this, but I want to see what everybody thinks about Sheena and you. Stay blessed, everybody.